now uh, the length of your fingers are your talents. Everyone has talents. No one gets cheated. So long fingers mean one thing. Short fingers mean another thing. Uh, nothing's good or bad. Now go down to the lower right hand corner of your chart. And uh, it says palm shapes. This is probably your most important talent. The shape of your palm. There's square, there's round, there's long, there's um, a mixture. You've got quite a roundish palm, which is artistic. And then it's kind of long in the palm part, which means a philosophical thinker. Look in the upper right-hand corner of your chart, types of fingertips. This is your personality. This is just the fingertips. All five of your fingers are rounded. Intuitive, quick, compassionate, should be in the health field. Let's see, did you tell me what you do? Oh, all you put was a parent. Okay. Okay, back down to the thumb now. Gonna do your talents. That thumb's a little bit long. You will do well in life. Good manual dexterity. You hold tools and instruments well with your hands. That index finger, the Jupiter finger, that's a little bit short. Self-motivated worker, you work very well on your own. Uh, let me tell, let me explain about the names on these. Palmistry has been around for two or three thousand years, and uh, they went through. They named all the fingers and named the uh, different areas of the palm. Usually, the names were the names of Greek gods or goddesses or uh, or astrological names. So that index finger is the Jupiter finger. The middle one's the Saturn finger. The ring finger is the sun finger, and the little finger is the mercury finger. Then that section in between the head and the heart line, that's called the Mars area. And one other important place in the palm is right at the base of the, of the thumb. That's called the, uh, the fat pad there. That's called the Mount of Venus. Venus, goddess of love, because that tells you back to libido. But it also tells you whether you're drinking enough water, too. And your that area in your hand is very dehydrated. You shouldn't have a single wrinkle in that area. You should have a nice little fat pad. So fat, you can hardly pick up the skin. So yours is, you, you, you're getting quite a few wrinkles in there. Very dehydrated. Drink more water. You've got to drink 32 ounces a day. The body can live without food for a while, but it can't live without water. You've got to keep well hydrated. Okay, let's see, we've done the Jupiter finger. So let's do the Saturn finger. The Saturn finger is a short finger too. Very concerned with social issues, very compassionate. There's compassion again, that means caring about your fellow man. That uh, sun finger, ring finger, uh, oh, it's nice and long. It's it's great. Creative, imaginative, inventive, abstract thinker. That's a very good. And you're an art. Uh, well, do you do artwork? And you've got an artistic hand. Let me see if you. Oh, you're a. Uh, yeah, you are an artist, aren't you? And this is good for a, for. A, this is a good finger for the for an artist. And then, oh my gosh, you've got a long little finger. I don't very often see long little fingers, especially on women. That's the writer's finger. And that's fairly good. That's only got to come up to that ring around the base of that uh, sun finger, the base of that uh, top joint. And yours is, uh, oh, yours is quite a bit longer than that. Works well with words, scholarly. Uh, I, I'm telling you, that's the writer's finger. You'd do well to take a, a writing class and, and do some writing. <laughs>